Hey everyone, Brian here with Audio Plugin Deals. Today we're going to check out the Muse Essentials Bundle. This has nine different contact libraries. It will require the full version of contact, so please keep that in mind. Before we get started checking this one out, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel down below, and of course hit that bell notification icon so you know when we go live with videos and great deals just like this. All right, everyone. So we have a bunch of different products to cover here. Um, they're all going to be melodic instruments. We have pianos, electric pianos, um, some effects, bass guitar, and then a bass instrument. So there's a bunch of different stuff here. Oh, and there's also uh, mellow. I forgot about that one, which is a very unique one. So let's check out starting with pianos. This is kind of the um, basic acoustic piano library but it has so much more here as you can see if we open up the browser here we have a huge selection of different sounds now i know the interface isn't my favorite for scrolling through but all you would do is click this and turn each layer on or off so let's listen to some of the different sounds here you can hear there you can see they're uh, organized by keys electric piano mallet distort effects and so let's check them out So there are a ton of possibilities there. As you can see, just the sheer number of different sounds that you can combine there, just very quickly touching on some of those. And we have some standard mixing and effects down here, um, compression and distortion here. And you can adjust the mix of each of those layers down here as well. So definitely check out this one. It has one instrument which is called piano. And then one up here, you can see piano hybrid, and that's where you're going to get all of these additional sounds. So if you want just a standard acoustic piano in here, you can totally do that as well. I think where it has a lot of more potential is layering the different sounds together, which is why I wanted to show that a little bit more. Let's go on to Gemini. This is going to be a Rhodes electric piano sound. So that was the Gemini Mark I. Here we have a separate instrument for the Gemini Mark II. There's going to be some instruments here that are also um, labeled Eco, and they're going to consume less resources. So those patches will be very helpful for those of you with um, maybe less powerful or older systems run to run these libraries on. Now we have two separate pianos here. One of them we've covered already, the Dione. This is a Steinway uh, D piano. It's got a very bright classical sound. Um, the Enceladus, I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that right. I kind of feel like I'm saying uh, enchiladas but okay so this one is going to be a different piano and it sounds a bit more warm.
Let's go on to Mellow. This one is very, very cool. It has a ton of different instruments for this one. Let me open that up real quick. So if you look over here in my browser, we have a lot of different instruments. For the pianos, um, they're mainly just kind of one to four NKI files. This one has a ton. So there's a lot to explore here. Let's check out some of the sounds. So Mellow is the classic Mellotron sound, and it's going to give you, obviously, a very vintage sound, a bit degraded. Um, it's going to sound very unique compared to, you know, pristine sampling. So if you see something here that says, like, brass, it's not going to sound like, you know, pristine orchestral brass. It's going to be the Mellotron kind of degraded, old-fashioned sound to it. All right, so this one, Electric Pianos, is going to be another one that has a ton of different NKI files to browse through as your presets. So again, a ton to cover here. Let's check some of them out. Okay, this one, Effects, is very interesting. It has a similar layout to the acoustic piano uh, library up there where there's tons of different sounds here. Now this is going to be some more modern sounding effects and some of them sound really nice.
Next we have Bass Guitar, which is actually the largest library, I believe, out of all of these. So again, ton of sounds to check out. And then finally we have bass, which is a synth bass type instrument. Let's check out some of those sounds. All right, so all in all, we have nine different libraries. There is a ton of different sounds that you can get out of these libraries. While they seem to be focused mostly on pianos, electric pianos, melodic instruments, the Mellotron, um, again, there is a little bit of something for everyone. I like how the acoustic pianos, you can load up all those different layers. So the uh, management and the navigation is a bit tedious, but there is a ton of different sounds here that you can choose from, that you can create, make your own presets, whatever it may be. The more realistic pianos, this one and the Dione, they're going to be very nice sounding. Each one has their own different character. Uh, Dione a bit more bright and classical. This one is going to be a little bit more warm. The Mellow is going to have those vintage kind of degraded Mellotron orchestral synthy type sounds. Really nice for those of you making ambient music, beats, anything like that. Um, the electric piano is going to have that classic road sound as well as a Yamaha and a few different presets that combine those with different instruments just like the acoustic pianos. Then we have the effects and the bass elements which are going to be the more modern sounding, uh, more hybrid electronic cinematic type sounds. The effects are very nice and then finally we have the bass guitar is going to be good for rock music, for pop music, and you have all these different stomp boxes to choose from as well as a lot of different presets. So that was a quick look at the Muse Essentials bundle on discount right now at Audio Plugin Deals. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you next time.